representation of the, their book, which is not just upcoming, but it's been around for a bit. Uh, but it's always nice to meet the authors. And thank you very much for coming all the way to Milano. Uh, so I will leave Amancio, Amancio Farris, to uh, present our two speakers tonight. Thank you. Grazie Mariana, grazie anche per la possibilità di ospitare questa quest occasione che credo, che credo importante. Eva e Riccardo sono, sono due architetti eh, che non hanno bisogno di presentazioni, questo è anche, anche come dire, eh, dimostrato dall'affluenza, dall dalla quantità di persone interessate a questa presentazione. Svolgono un lavoro insieme dal 1998, sono più di 25 anni in cui insieme producono progetti, architetture reali, eh, insegnamento, eh, scrittura, eh, dove tutti questi, questi livelli di lavoro si intrecciano continuamente con una densità e una intensità incredibile. I loro edifici appunto sono, hanno, sono diventati importanti proprio perché intorno a questi edifici si è acceso un dibattito e un interesse generale che ha avuto una risonanza una risonanza enorme che ha coinvolto eh, non solo il loro paese in cui svolgono principalmente il lavoro, ma più in generale l'Europa, l'America. Come dicevo non hanno bisogno di presentazioni, io solamente pochi minuti prima di cedere la parola a loro e lasciarli presentare il loro libro, vorrei dire due cose sul perché abbiamo insieme a Mariana pensato fosse importante il loro libro fosse un'occasione preziosa quello, eh, quella di, di essere presentato qui in questa, in questa libreria. Eh, in una loro recente presentazione a Barcellona il loro libro è stato definito un manifesto che è un manifesto che non vuole essere un manifesto, è come una definizione molto particolare che però coglie alcuni aspetti di grande interesse. Eh, la particolarità di questo manifesto, io sono d'accordo con questa definizione, e che innanzitutto è il risultato eh, della raccolta di tanti testi eh, teorici, tanti scritti che sono avvenuti in momenti diversi, in occasioni diverse e si sono composti insieme quasi come se fosse un edificio, un'architettura che non è nata con un unico atto di, di azione, un unico principio, ma è nata dalla stratificazione, dall'accostamento, dal, dal combinarsi di molte parti, quasi un'architettura di spoglio che invece rivela di come queste parti possano compacciare eh, in maniera interessante eh, e comporre quindi un edificio meraviglioso, fantastico. Eh, un altro tema è che questi testi teorici rimandano continuamente a fatti reali, a disegni, a edifici, ad altre architetture che loro hanno visitato, quindi è un immergersi in una lettura dove continuamente il riferimento alle cose concrete riappare continuamente ed è un modo di leggere un, un manifesto teorico molto particolare, di grande interesse, che credo li, li differenzia. E loro disegnano, parleranno anche del disegno, sovrapponendo carte trasparenti su carte trasparenti e sfogliando il loro libro, leggendolo, si ha come l'impressione che anche il libro sia fatto di carta trasparente, perché ogni volta che si legge un testo in trasparenza già si intravede il testo successivo, gli argomenti, quando si pensa ad un'opera in trasparenza già si vede un'altra opera che è collegata, che ha una referenza e quindi è come se la sovrapposizione del, del modo di lavorare riuscisse in maniera impensabile, sorprendente a comparire anche nella parola, nella parola scritta. E infine un'ultima cosa, eh, i manifesti solitamente o spesso frequente, sono come una proiezione in avanti, invece si ha l'impressione che questo manifesto racconti di esperienze svolte in atto che stanno avvenendo e quindi è un manifesto che lascia delle impressioni molto diverse, quindi è come se mettere le mani nella pasta del presente possa produrre una, una, una spinta verso un'idea di futuro, una, una visione di futuro che appunto non è astratta, non, non viaggia su un campo lontano dal dal reale, da ciò che, da ciò che è esistente. E, e quindi leggendo questi testi, si ha come quest'idea di cose reali, 
e se, sembra di sentire l'eco, il suono delle loro parole, delle loro voci che continuamente nello studio, nei viaggi, nel lavoro parlano, commentano, insegnano e, e quindi ecco, è un libro che permette di sentire l'eco delle loro parole. E, lascio a voi, grazie. Grazie, Manzio. Thank you very much, Amancio and Mariana, for welcoming here. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Uh, this book of writings is, uh, is something that came uh, out of an invitation of uh, an editor in Barcelona who, wanted, um, who wants really uh, to publish uh, texts by, by architects who practice, and, uh, which is sometimes difficult because uh, many times the architects who practice uh, don't write uh, often and, or don't know how to write, which is our case. So we, set, we tried to resist for a while, but he insisted um, uh, for yeah, a couple of years or so. So we, we, we put together a few writings. Uh, he made an editing of that. And then, the, so the book is a selection of, of writings who, who in a way um, have a common, uh, common subject or common theme, which is the, the way we use drawing or the way we spend our days um, drawing and um, in our studio, in our office, but also uh, how we use drawing as architects, how we use drawing for thinking, but also for communication, uh, also for teaching, and also for you know, uh, explaining to the builder, explaining to someone who asks you for a commission or a client. Um, so the different ways of drawing, you, how you use it as architects. So the book is in fact, constantly speaking about this, the different ways of, of using of drawing and uh, the drawing as a way of thinking. So we, we, want, we will make a short presentation only about uh, how um, in the studio the drawings are present on the tables and, and they in a way help you to think and to, um, to reflect on the, on the problems you have or in the preoccupations you have or in the interests you have. So they are on, uh, always laying and, and around you are always the th things that inform those drawings, which are always, you know, the book, the reference books, the, the drawings, own drawings or from, from the present projects or past projects or, or things that are photographs or images of the works that you are working on or some things that are a reference for you, some models, you know, the, the, all the tools that you use and, and other drawings that have been produced with time. So we, in, the, in, every, in the every day we use uh, the table as, um, the, in a way it's the universe uh, that is like your head is there. No? So all your interests and preoccupations and things that help you to move on are, are outside and surrounding you and helping you to move on. Um, I think it's, uh, this is uh, what in a way is reflected in the book, is how you insist in uh, withdrawing in some thoughts that after a while maybe you help you to move on. But for a while you are drawing and redrawing and redrawing the same drawing for until something happens that you make a jump forward. But sometimes you spend days, you know, and weeks with the, with the same idea because uh, there's something that um, worries you but you don't know how to move forward. So many times this uh, insistence of this, uh, um, you know, uh, multiplication of the drawing, sometimes not, not changing one from the next and from the previous one, is a reflex how you are stuck in something and how you move forward. I think it's, it's the way we architects spend a lot of our time, most of our time. And then uh, this is uh, something that we wanted in a way to say or to explain because uh, it's how we think uh, that is a, a, the treasure or the luxury of the architects to spend the hours or your time thinking and uh, reflecting and spending the hours in, in, the, in things that you like really to do, which is this uh, thinking with your pencil. So uh, the tables are on the office are always surrounded by, by the tools. This is, um, I think, very obvious, but I think it's something that you surround yourself with the, with the tools that help you to move on. And we, tr we tend to draw with triangles because then they give you the freedom to move through the, through the drawing without a specific um, geometry. So you always have around the uh, books that someone who, who influences you, even if the project is not that, that uh, the one that, uh, that is near what you're doing, but sometimes as an inspiration, when you are stuck, you pass some, some pages of these architects 
before we were, we were seeing Borromini there, Be better not to look at it very much because then you, <laughs> you get stuck. Uh, but then, you know, all these people who are so, so, um, so inspiring in a way, they give you hope and then you move on again and then you continue to draw when you are not moving from a, from a drawing. So we said we use uh, yeah, typical um, the tools for, for moving, but always with the, with the help of, uh, you know, triangles. And we like to, to, uh, to have this accumulation of papers which, um, which at the end show the pass of time through the day. So many times the documents become uh, a series of uh, overlapped papers and, um, and transparents and, and fragments of the, of the drawings, which in a way help you to, to build the, the situation you want to go. But when you are uh, solving a problem, then you have to build all the spatial condition of the problem to, to be able to jump from one level to the other to the section and back very fast with your hand. So how you build the situation for your head to be, uh, not to be distracted, uh, I think is very important how all these documents that you, that you surround you with to help you to move from one problem to the next uh, and what's happening in the section, in the facade, of course, in plan. So you are, you are, attack, you are thinking in three dimensions, but through the two-dimension two condition of, this, of these drawings. And, um, and I think they are very nice because then you have the section, the facade, then you develop the facade, you have the plan, you put a piece of white papers, otherwise you don't see nothing, and then you, con you take it out and you continue to draw. But many times the problems, of course, they are never solved in one, in one dimension, so you need them all at sight. I think that condition of having the documents at sight in front of you is very interesting because you are there, you are, your head is inside the space, and then the spaces are surrounding you. But to surround you, you have to take the pieces of, many times there are computer drawings that have been already moved, and then you print them out, and then you, you, you build the base, and then you start to dig it, to discuss or to uh, reflect again with the hand, no? So this is a, a bit what the, the, the book is talking about, how you overlap and how you think again and how some things are staying behind, under, to allow you to remember what you have been thinking one week ago or three weeks, three days ago. ago. So you, ne you don't really erase, never erase, but you overlap and you continue to think on top of your own ide ideas. And that's the, a bit the thing of the, of, of the title. So sometimes you see to, you know, to solve a, a chimney there, you draw a whole s series of problems around to surround the problem and then you understand how high the chimney should be. So how you really build the, 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 think, the thought you know, around the thing, uh, you, you need to make uh, the, this mental construction for allowing something to move on. It's not, it's not as simple as saying the chimney should be like that, but how, what is that implying? How is the facade? How is the whole thing? Then you go into ground floor and then you jump up. But in a way, uh, helping you not to go straight forward to the problems, but surrounding, surround them. So once even when the, when the facade or the, the building is defined, you always find something to discuss again or to rethink again. And the hand drawing is a uh, help for us. A selection of a problem, saying that, you know, the, um, the, you know, the changing rooms or the, the lockers for the theater, the lobby of the theater we are doing in Brussels, it always implies a, selection, a bigger selection because for doing this lobby, you need to know the access, you need to know the, the, the theater space, you need to know the access from above, etc. How far you draw to understand the problem is always something very, very interesting. And then you find yourself drawing something that has nothing to do with the lobby, but then you spend some time there to avoid the problem for a while until you need to face it again. So you go and then you draw a bit more and then you put another, a piece of paper and another one. So it's, uh, what is fascinating of the hand drawing is that it allows you to wander around like your head is doing. And also, it's, it's always unfinished, like the thoughts are, because the thoughts are never complete. You're always thinking in a, in a fragment of the building and the rest you don't know because it's not in your, in your mind in that moment. So the, the drawing is, is, is reflecting this unfinished condition of your thoughts and it's facing some part and then, then that's what you're focusing. But then the vestibule is implying many other things. And, and this is very, very nice for, to see how is the, the cutout or the, how is the selection that you do in the plan as a base. And then the series of, 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 uh, of, of tests 
get divided or get identified by pieces of white paper that allow you to see the last one, but you could always come back to see the previous one and the previous one again. So all these ones are, are tests on top of uh, computer drawings that have, you know, at certain point have been discussed or, or, or not accepted and continue to move. So sometimes the, the drawings, when you have a problem and the, in, in, a, in, fra in a fragment of a project that, are, uh, that you're thinking, I don't know, sometimes it's, it's just uh, a question of one of the turns of the inner, the inner street, the, the, cut the shortcut that you had to do between this street and this street, the inner, the inner street. Um, but then how, the, what is interesting is to draw in very fast to understand which is the dimension of the problem, which <coughs> is the, the, the scale of the problem. You go from one end to the other. And I think because you are, you are seeing in a combination of computer drawing, no, printed, and then uh, the, the quality of the transparent paper on top of it. So that also for us is very um, important to have the previous, you see that here there is a previous version of this cut, the, this shortcut of this passage. So that when you draw again, or when you want to think again, the previous thought is still there. So it, for us, it's much more critical, and you can know what, what you have drawn before, what are you changing, so that things don't uh, disappear. You make them evolve with hand drawing. Mm -hmm. And so you draw this, and then when you like it, then maybe we will change it, and well, we will start drawing it in tr with triangles. But this uh, option, that it seems something so, so simple, but it doesn't exist yet in the screen, no, transparent paper gives you these possibilities. So the things that don't appear like this, and we make them transform. But it's a way of, of working that really trusts in the drawing and really also you know, has this trust in that things evolve. You don't erase. No? One becomes another as you build. Mm -hmm. There are also in our studio, there are no version or option A, a option B. The projects always grow little by little with a lot of uh, uncertainty. And this is what this... Uh, this paper allowed us to, to yeah, do. Because no? now I remember this, if you see the previous version, is the same one. The only thing is that, that this street was straight, but then the, the, the track couldn't turn in entering backwards. It is a, the, the huge track of the bands who come here to play in the, in the, in the performance hall. So when turning this wall, we, we understood that we could make it turn, etc. So the whole drawing, new drawing, is just to to adapt this piece and where the door would be. So, but to, to allow this to be continuous with the rest, you need to draw all the rest. You cannot solve just a fragment alone. Mm -hmm. and, but then you always feel more confident if you redraw everything and if you think that this piece will, will go well with the rest and the compression of the street will be according with the rest. So many times it's a very little, very little movement, but then, as I was saying, then you fix the curve, you fix the geometry, and then you can, you can move on. But so the, the, the geometry gets uh, more precise, many times after thinking it with more fast pencil and then you sharpen it, uh, or you use a hard lead and you do, and you do it uh, more pre with more precision. But you see many times this, this overlapping is again thinking in, in fragments in the, mo in the lift, in the, in the street that here still was, you see the, the track was, was crashing here, was collapsing, was couldn't, couldn't enter, or you chop the corner. So, but then better, better to curve the, the wall, uh, et cetera. So um, these are the kind of drawings that, again, the bar, the bar on top of the, in the upper level, this element of the grades that are continuous with this one. I think this is interesting how you dubbed and you add some benches here that nobody asks you for, but you think that this could be a nice place to talk a while when you enter from here. You, f you, f you meet someone and you discuss for a while or you go to the, to the upper level or you move this way. So you see how the pencil is thinking, how, the, how people will be moving. And this is the, 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 uh, the reasons why you will move on or not or you will make some things happen. If you don't think how people will be moving and sitting and not getting a, a bored while walking so long because you have a door, you have a bench, you have another bench, you have an access of a staircase, a lift, the tickets, you have many things that will amuse you through the, through, the, through the street. It will be really a street that can be really fun to move on. Otherwise, you, you cannot leave the project there. So while drawing and thinking how much, how many steps are you going to do before you get, uh, you get bored or you get amused, etc., you cannot do. So all this, uh, this long um, drawing, sometimes it's for solving a staircase or for a, a small corner, but you need to understand it all to do it again. So your hand is the best one 
to bring you, to bring the information into your, into your head and allow you to, to go. So, many, so this, this very uh, kind of fast drawings deciding the length of the bar and the, and, the, and the counter for the waiters to prepare the drinks and all that, so that people will be here around. So later you draw it pre with precision and then you, you make the distances well and all that. But before, for that being proportioned well as you like it should be, drawn and again and again and the hand is the best for proportioning is I think the distances between things how much you will compress for people to be talking here but enough for allowing someone to pass all these situations that you want a bar to happen all these things the hand is the, the best one to give you the information or, or, the, or the best situation to, to go no so all these drawings of overlapping is, uh, the, is what we say and that we don't erase because in fact we like to have all the situations before, and then of course you immediately make the, fast, the, the, the elevation. And many times these, these drawings are fragments. This is a competition drawing, which also again uh, the competition of, the, of this project in Brussels, which is showing this desire of, of, the, of, the spe of this street to become a public space and how the natural light should be able, should be able to make this space to become a public space. Otherwise, if you don't have natural light, the space you don't enter and is, is not, doesn't have the, the, the condition of, of the, the day. But you see how, again, the drawings in the competitions are trying to bring very close the plan and the section. And they think of, in that moment, moving upwards to the main uh, theater space was through this long, long run that was moving all the way. And in, when you were there, you could go down into the, into the scene and walk up into this grace. So this continuous walking was very important in that moment for us, was how we could climb up the section and then walk in and then go up and again and more until the terrace. That was one of the main goals of the competition in that moment. So how, you see how in plan and in section, the, the ramp, which is the main focus of our interest, is, so, is collapsing there. And then all the drawings, when you arrive to the terrace, this, this long, long uh, ramp have arrived here and also with this staircase. So you have two ways of arriving up. So in a way, it's a building that you can climb, climb, climb until the, in, in vertical, not only, and, but for doing that, you go uh, all the way from one end to the end, to the other, to the other. So you walk all the time at maximum length. But in the same drawings for explaining to the, our uh, uh, structural advisor, stability. stability advisor, are drawn with, for, with, the port, with how we thought the structure could be. So the same copies of the drawings have uh, incorporate the structure on it, and then you send to him uh, to see if he agrees with the amount of pillars and the sizes and all that. So the hand drawing in a way is allowing you very fast to incorporate uh, the, the structure that you think could go well for this movement that you want, and then you are explaining him, in this case, how you want people to move and how you want the pillars not to, not to disturb in the way. Another very, very, yeah, very typical drawing is the one when you want to see what the public space is, what, what that public space that you want for that building will be, how people will be moving here. See, the, 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 the crossing was not so close, uh, was not so long, was, was shorter. Then the, the big truck came in uh, after we won the competition, so this street get long, goes longer. But at the moment you could go across here and then you could connect with the building which is in the other side of the street, which is the Teatro Nacional. So people of the Teatro Nacional will go to other theater, to, to this theater and exchange. That could, uh, it was something that is still there, but now you have the crossing of the public here. But you see how the, the pencil is, is making very clear one condition of the building which wants to be very transparent, very public. Everyone can come in without paying tickets or without even going to a concert. But also you see how some fragments are, are kind of identified, like the one of the bar, which later became a fragment also in the model. That, in the, that drawing was already selecting it because you were drawing everything which is not this volume of the, of the climbing of the bar here. And so crossing through and making these fragments independent. So then the facade is another element, which is a, clay, is a listed part of the building, which, for, which is a, um, a fragment of uh, something that we have to keep and, and respect, so, but is connected to this bar, which is, was also a historic place, not in, the, in this way, but the way it was go looking into the street with this gallery. 
So the different elements of the building that we respect, uh, some are listed or some we want to keep them because we, uh, we understood that everything in the building was precious for us, like the former cash de Seine, the, the, the flight light tower that, that becomes a, a light well for this light to come in and become and transform the building into a, a public uh, domain in the ground floor especially. Um, so this, this piece, you can take it out. So fragments of the project that for you in your head were identify, mm -hmm. identifiable because your hand were paying attention to them, even if connecting to the others. Then when you draw them, you need to, you need to expand and see how the three sides of this flight tower are going to be seen together because of course, when you walk, you see all the spaces at once. You don't see one by one. So you, uh, you identify the, the difference, the, the, the different sides together. So you need to draw them unfolded. And for that, the hand is very good because in a way it passes from one side to the other, to the other. It's like con ma making a contagious thing from one facet to the other and to the next in continuity. So all this overlapping in a way helps you to, to make this kind of uh, uh, movement that you want with your, with your thinking. And this is a very big drawing, no? It's, so a, here, it's more than a The other ones yes. were this size, but this one is very big. So this one, you can see the whole uh, thing on the table. Well, this is really important good. because you have the plan, which is, this is a computer drawing, but there are many things here that you can, maybe you can, from there, maybe you don't see that are things that are on this wall, which are, we wanted to keep them and so we will keep them up there, up there. Nobody cares about those things, but we think they are beautiful. So we will keep them up in the top, but nobody cares about them. They will stay. Uh, so <coughs> we, we, to draw all these elements that are staircases and uh, counterweights and things like that, you need a big piece of paper, yes. So, uh, but then, but yeah, the, the, pap the, pen, the paper becomes bigger or smaller, depends on the size of your thoughts or how, mu how much you need to draw on it. Sometimes you don't need a big one, but for all these elements. So then you have um, the axonometrical drawing, which in a way represents this, uh, this um, shortcut that we're talking. So more, more the public proposal of the project. What is the public proposal? More than the two performance halls and et cetera, all that, which is the program, all the unprogrammed, all, all, all that thing that nobody asks you for, but for you is the most important thing, which is where the people will be crossing and how the, people, the building will become part of the city again. So uh, when drawing on all this axonometric, at the beginning is always a, a challenge also because you have to see how you put the paper and how you figure out with these staircases that are you know, always breaking because of the geometry that is very you know, changing and unfolding. And so the way of showing it is always a challenge. So we start, uh, but very, sometimes the axonometric start very, with very testing uh, points of view, but you change them. And so how you show the center of the cash de Seine and how you show this, this wall, which are so important for you. So they, they, it changes in, in, with time that are those, these are transparent papers on top of the other one and the other one until you find, you see the staircase is turning here to make it more visible. Sometimes you need to, to move, to shift a bit the drawing to make it. And then, but this drawing is also very big. This drawing you see is, my, is like met, meter, meter 20, meter 30 of height. Uh, so you need a big, a big person to do it. It's, a, it's also sometimes it's, it's very fragmentary because it's a, you see it's a, it's a paper that at the beginning was, uh, was thought to be this part, but later you, you sum up the light well and then this. And so it's like a Frankenstein of fr fragments that you add pieces of paper, but you need it because you need more the skylights and everything else. So at the end, it's a nice piece of drawing. Uh, so no, because we were, we were talking before with Eva, this, this axonometrical drawing of the doors and windows of Sala Beckett, which was also something that we had to see how we could draw all the doors and windows that we inherited in the Sala Beckett, in the former cooperative building that was later the Sala Beckett, and how you draw that. So this drawing is more than for thinking, it's like an inventory. So it's in, it's, it was an inventory of doors and the windows that we found that we wanted to reuse. So which is the drawing you do for yourself to bring to your office and, and have it at, at, at sight and not forget about the quality and the beauty of each of these elements that deserve to be reused and, re, and, re, and relocated. Uh, so the inventory itself, which is a series of drawings of each of these pieces, but the axonometrical, which locates them where they are, 
it's an important role in of, of, of the ads found, and you have to find the, the time to do it and, and the passions of doing it, and it's, it's crucial for them for the moving on because when you have it there and the payments that surround them, you will surely look for a good place for them. You treat them like characters, each of it is a character, and you treat them with, with, with care and with love. But if you don't do this, this enormous drawing, which is also a big drawing, to hold them all, per perhaps you forget them because as soon as you move on, there are thousands of other problems that come into the construction site, and so you, you start to, to lose them. But when you have them like that, control, then they are part of the project. Process of Salabic, but the, the thing the documents are the slightly different from the previous ones, because these are scanned, small drawings of the competition, the, the competition the building was going to be. And these are, again, tests. Probably there was a base under, but we scan it alone. And uh, you see, these are testing that we want to keep. No? Where is the entrance? In a, it's an existing building in both cases, a drawing. So we are drawing also with a lot of existing walls and how to adapt them to the new program, how the building will work. The building now had this entrance. We are here trying to maybe also have an entrance in the corner. Now that it's coming from a, a previous a kind of grocery store into this public vestibule of a theater. And then more testing you know, and having then two corridors, a lot of space probably for the corridor. This was the old vestibule. But testing and testing, because we really, uh, we, we like to, we need them when we read these drawings also to you know, see them the next morning when we arrive to the table and they are already there, you know, all kind of waiting. So it's easier to, to criticize. This, is the, this was the second floor, I think, and also how to test the program. But as you see, you know, we are trying to put the volumes and having dressing rooms or other kind of programs, but always working with this existing, very clear structure in this case, not, not as... Uh, Compl uh, complex uh, plot like we have in Brussels. So the entrance become already the bar. Here there is almost, uh, almost no space for the tables. Things are becoming to, to be uh, visible. And the, and the at the end. We, we have a, there is a long way to arrive to the theater, the theater downstairs, but this is a space that you need probably to change from the city into you not know, be able to attend another reality. So they are different episodes, like the street somehow in Brussels, different episodes that will happen around and how to give the rhythm to them. No? Here there was a lift, a staircase, but, and the, all this uh, also to decide about no, the distance of them. The bar was here, the bar huh. on the ground floor. Yeah, more uh, of, of these tests, as you see, but they are important. No? It's the same day, also we put the date. Because be when you make so much variation, sometimes you don't know, no, if you're going which day was this, what was older. So it helps us also in, in understanding the, the process. And sometimes also we need to, to look for them because there was a, a moment that probably was more interesting than the point we are, we are at the moment. No? So you, you need to come back. So this was a very quick, these are drawings for a competition that they give us one month to try to fit the program of a theater in an old grocery and workers club in Barcelona, and, well, there are two big uh, rooms, a lot of big rooms, but also uh, a corridor that has to move through the existing walls. So once we are more or less happy with one of the solutions, as you see, we, we put them into the, with the triangles, but we keep, it's just one day of difference, but we have to move uh, and kind of start fixing things. And the walls uh, here, little by little, starts to be clear. As you see, the entrance becomes kind of more controlled here. It doesn't kind of occupy the whole bar. And then here in this uh, space, it's becoming very clear that the two walls will have a lot of uh, responsibility in organizing the new circulation. There are staircases, but also there are starts to have uh, some waiting benches in the circulation path. The, the project in the competition was higher, so we had to add more staircase and make it grow above. We had more rehearsal rooms. We have uh, the existing building is about 3,000 square meters and the competition wanted 5,000. So we're growing on top of the existing building with more of these big rooms and some residences for artists. All these tests have been in the same day. So these are very small drawings. In the, no, they are A3. Eh? A3 drawings, yeah. one to 200. So in the section you can see, well, this is the existing, this part of the building remains the same, but this one is the one that was winning two more rehearsal rooms. And we were moving this structure up there. And, but the, the existing walls 
other ones that are growing. So we keep on uh, working with this long uh, passage that the building, the existing building has. And even this passage here gets shorter, but it keeps uh, all the circulation, as you see, it's attached to one of the walls. So also it's interesting, and when dealing with existing buildings, we really find the necessity of drawing on top of them and until the existing wall and the wall that you are having adding, they really look the, the same. They are very much uh, the same unity in the project. This, is a new, this was a new floor. We are ab almost above, this is a technical ceiling of this, and this is the, the new uh, 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 apartment, but we keep on with the structure of the director uh, office here, and then some of the rooms of the classes up there, but also how to connect these very long buildings. <coughs> this is more or less, this is quite no, similar. This is the final solution yeah. of the bar, no? <coughs> At the end, this is the final for the competition. Yeah, yeah, the bar is like this. We have a bench here, and this long corridor that goes straight into the, the main room. But, the, yeah, but the, yeah, the, the here, there was a lot of small changes here until the construction side, no? because this is, uh, this is already... Comes Construction, preparing for construction. No, con preparing for construction. So here you see that we need some acoustic uh, w doors, so there are, we have to place two doors here. How we also maybe, we, we kind of disorientate the, the, the public a little bit more before they go down. We have to go down a few steps because we reinforce the ceiling and we want the room to have bigger ceilings, so we have to excavate to, to give more space. That's why you move like one meter from the street level in this case, and then, <clears throat> then maybe here it goes more straight and then we need a, a lift to, for people that maybe have your leg broken, you cannot move through the staircase, you take the little lift and you join. So for a moment you, have, you leave your friends, you go down from here, you meet them again. And the there were a lot of changes. Now here they, we have a, the, 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 the dressing rooms changing. are here, changing rooms, but we still, now you go like this, and so we need another, there's another door here. You have a window and then you go down and so we don't have the lift here. So the lift has to come. Yeah. No, no. Huh, here it is. So the lift, then the dressing rooms cannot be seen from the vestibule. Suddenly the director realized, no, but you would open the door and you would see all the people changing here. So no, no, then we move this more and then think this is... Uh, before was here and uh, it lifts to here. To but this is once the construction site has started. started yes. So there are some adjustments. So we move this wall and then yeah, you, there are no steps here at the end, no, even? Mm -hmm. Okay. But all these changes that we keep on uh, printing and put it on top and uh, be trying to be uh, an evolution. You know? mm -hmm. It's never new. So it's a completely different kind of drawing. This is a drawing of the, that, uh, this is a drawing for the construction site. So we've been talking about mm -hmm. co drawing for competitions, drawing for making our thoughts evolve among us, for discussing on, among us and some drawings for, for the construction site like this one. This is a big document that we incorporate many times into the, all the, the construction drawings. Many are, are by computer and many are by hand. And this is, for example, one which speaks about the pavement, about the vestibule, the central vestibule, which is so important because it's the core of the, of the building and everyone meets there. So people who come out or in and out from the, from the theater, students who come in or out from the classrooms, teachers or, or create playwrights that are creating a play and uh, spend months there in some room. Everyone meets in this vestibule, which is, becomes a very, very theatrical at the end. So it was very important to draw it very carefully, not only the pavement in the different levels, so you have the ground floor with the sofa and the staircase and the, and the access to the theater that Evo was explaining, the arrival and the tickets, the box office and the bars, you can see here, then you, you go in the, in the mezzanine and then you climb up and when you arrive here you have all these this skylights that go look down and the entry to the upstairs theater, the offices of the, th of the director and back to the classroom and here you have the courtyard, another courtyard, you have light from there, light from the skylight. But it's important also to show the, the benches and everything, but also the, the facades. You see here you have the facades, so you have the ground floor with the staircase up, and so the, 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 the mouth, so the, the opening that allows you come in, and the skylight, 
and the facade and the other side the same. You have the, the sofa here, which is here with all the paintings and the up, upstairs entry to the theater, the access to the back to the theater downstairs and the, the tickets office. So everything is unfolded. And then you have some details of the benches over there. So this bench is over there. This other bench is here below. So everything is around, which I think is important because when you are going to explain this vestibule to someone and how it's is going to be built, it's good that all the document contains the qualities and the, con and the construction conditions of, of this piece. And then it's around you. So this is like a letter that you give to the, <laughs> to the builder and you say, with this you will build that central part. And when he's alone there with the panic of building, he will look at, you, at the drawing and will read your texts and will be like accompanied by you in a way. So what you write there is like a, like a wish. No, I would like that this will be like that. I would like that this will be like that. Or this should be like that. But it's many times you are guessing because you haven't built these things before. So you say things that you don't know, but you, you want them to be this way. So it's really like a letter of a wish that you give to someone, and this someone will hold it and will make it possible. I think, I think these documents are important because everything that you have in your head is there. And it's explained in a way, again, as you, will, as you will go through it. Because when you go through a space, you are looking at the ceiling, the sky, the door, everything is at once. So you need to draw everything at once. You cannot draw one facade, then the floor, then in another file you have the other facade, and in another file you have the section. Because this disconnection, you can feel it in the space. When you draw it at once and your hand is able to draw the section, the ceiling, the facade, the everything at once, then the space can feel that. So I think these documents contain that condition of, of the unity that you want to give to the space. I think they are important. And then, of course, sometimes you def they define more the, 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 the position of the tiles. Sometimes are less important. Then in this vestibule was very important because we were using existing tiles. So we wanted to use them as bands because it was a passing through kind of space. So we were moving the, the drawing of the tiles so that they wouldn't coincide in two directions, but they were only working in one direction. These kind of things that you, you need to, of course, then, then you can explain in a, in a more precise drawing, but this, this decision of how the tiles will go and moving, you are saying already, or how the dimensions of the, of the bench should be, or the, 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 the water, or how do you say, the lines of the, the wood would be, all these, these elements has to be, have to be there. And so it's not possible for the builder later to tell you that he didn't see that the wood is this way and he puts it this way. No, no, you see it's here. So you, you, f you put everything there and then this document is also helping you or defending you in a way, if you want to say that way, in the, in the construction site while you are not there. Uh, so other drawings of the same part, uh, the, what I was saying, when you have, this is the drawing of the ceiling. So when you're drawing a light well, and then you want that the section and the, and the plan of the, of the skylight goes together, then you draw it together in the same drawing. I think that's very helpful because then everything becomes much more continuous in a way, you know? So these kind of drawings, which are sometimes of a fragment of the problem, you see the drawing was already drawn in the computer, but then all that section was thought again, um, well, there are some tests of that. There's a moment where this big skylight has to turn from, so from, from rounded to half because um, our stability advisor said that this truss, which is there, which is this one here, uh, if we make this hole like a moon, then you have a problem because the truss would, uh, you know, would fall down, would make the, the roof collapse. So you say, no, 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 of course, I was joking. No, it was a joke. It's half a moon, half a moon. And then everyone is happy, and you go with a half a moon. But all these drawings, you leave the thing behind, because then you remember the previous state and how this, this way of, of opening will come. Uh, other drawings are a bit m perhaps more complex to see, but they are not so much when you understand them. This staircase is in Casal Balaguer in, in Mallorca. I think we have... Um, enough. Yeah. We have enough. Of kitchen. Perhaps uh, we can, this is, uh, we no, can like have a bit of conversation if you want. No, and, uh, because like Amasio said at the beginning, this is very much hands-on. No? This, is, this is the kitchen. And, and every, yeah. no, every time that the drawing comes into the table during construction or at the beginning and uh -huh. how, how it is cooked. <laughs> there. Okay, thank you. So, yeah. Thank you for your attention. <laughs> 
Is there questions or something we want to discuss or talk to together? How much uh, influence uh, of uh, Eric Mirayes uh, there is still in your work? Is there or? I think well, from what, what you have seen, the method is what we learn in his uh, studio for sure. I mean, it was great to be there. And probably because he was so much disciplined into, into make us draw when we were students. And I remember him saying, no, you have to draw us. It, it has been a machine that has done it. And so you, the discontinuous lines, all the things that you learn and you don't want to, to lose them in a way. You think I have been through this discipline. And also it was interesting for, to be in the office when the computer came. And Enrique Miralles hated the, the wings that came out of the plotter because it was not very nice. And the adaptation it took us uh, quite, you know, one year or, or two mm. until the computer was accepted there. So the things were going out of the plotter and it will break them again. You know, like what, what's happened with this doesn't give the quality of the hand drawing. Now it gives the quality of the, of the hand drawing. You know, and he, he make the change in the computer. But I think the, the more the discipline of the everyday, I think uh, is something that the joy of being on your table and, uh, yeah. and really uh, spending time in front of your problems and, um, and enjoying, time. The, yeah, res enjoying the, research, the time. See, the research, the research and condition. Uh, condition of architecture. Because yeah. see him, you know, how he went to the meetings with these unfinished, with these dubs, and you know, he was moving on with all this material. Uh, it was ama really amazing. And to and he try never, again. never, uh, never giving up the problems, even until the thing is going to be built. And sometimes, even when they were built, you could uh, convince the builder to change them if you have a better solution. This kind of uh, putting you the the maximum exigence at, at all the levels. I saw him uh, present. At the beginning, you are sometimes uh, scared, not scared, but frightened because he was presenting intermediate states of a project that were not completely, you know, and you could see some, but he saw it, of course, much before you, but he would present it and then later would improve it and then later improve it and then improve it until the, the building at the end was something amazing as his works were. Uh, so this acceptance of the monsters in the middle of the process because you need to move on, etc. All these situations that how, how, you, how you use the, your material as something that represents you and, and help you in the, in the meetings or in the conversation with someone. The document as, as something that allows us to establish a conversation. Mm -hmm. Today we were with our students in Mendrisio and it was very beautiful, their production of uh, the first observational drawings of the exercise they were doing and we spent the whole morning speaking about the air and the clouds and the mountains and it was so inspiring and th this condition of the, of, that they were putting all their love and their, their care of some documents to, to bring us and then we could discuss. So I think that was something that Enrique um, brought to us, how you can trust in, in the drawing mm -hmm. and how you, you use that as a research. Um, so it's something that never, you know, in a way, that is how you continue to do and to do because it uh, allows mm -hmm. you to think and then to put aside your thoughts. You make them visible by drawing and then by making them visible, you, 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 you share them with others, which is something very public. The hand drawing is very public. Everyone can come and, and see it's not so direct as a computer drawing, which is more one-to-one. Uh, condition and, and leaves all the traces at sight so everyone can see the, how you've been moving through and, and the doubts you had before and the problems because there are some parts that are more black and you see that there's a problem there and so all, all this, um, yeah, the value of the process was something that um, we learned there uh, and then spend the more hours possible in your drawing board to, to help you to think. Uh, see some, that's, that's, I think, the the most important influence, I think. <coughs> yes, I think being in, uh, so in the morning was university and then in the afternoon going with uh, Pinot's Miralles and then after Miralles. And it was uh, really amazing to discover that suddenly there was telephone then, not so much email. Uh, so only the telephone was a disturbing, but the rest was completely like being in a library. You know, sh silence, the sound of the squares. <laughs> <laughs> Even Miralles saying, you're drawing well this afternoon, you're making a good sound. <laughs> wow, no, <laughs> super sophisticated. Uh, uh. I understand how drawing can be a tool to design, but you earlier said that you do this also for the construction company, mm -hmm. that they should read this. And mm -hmm. I wonder how much 
do they really are able to, to read all this? Because for architects, it's very fascinating, you know? We are trained to read hmm. the drawing. No, but even, the, even this drawing was for the man who was making the forms. The, ca the form the, work the for the construction work. site. There was another drawing, but also this one with the colors that we were making clear in our office, also with travel. No, but the builders uh, <coughs> yeah, and the, the people who built, they really they, they love the drawings that are very clear, yeah. straightforward. And very, because the, the drawing uh, <coughs> before of the vestibule, Everything is there, so he can sit with you mm. and go and then understand perfectly. The, uh, if you have a drawing, which is, here is the plan, but no, I go to the 20 pages and I give you the detail of that, and then 70 pages more and I have a, the, the mm. breaking of the, think, of the continuity of thinking is, is also mm. very uh, painful for them. I think they love the, this kind of drawing. The only Complete. thing is that, of course, later you might need some, some other ones that are... Uh, Easier to you know to measure up or but but the clear condition of the drawings mm. uh, they understand. Mm, they are and also all our drawings uh, and we draw that much also because of the responsibility of building. So for us, I mean these are not drawings. No, everything is is something. This is a staircase. This is a step. Yeah. So because you you are drawing for to build with this responsibility. So I think they and the the great ones. No, they they even put them with pins in a in a piece of wood, and they, they, yeah. they go very they, these are super, and they don't lose them, no? and then they go, and, they, and one plan like this one, no, that Ricardo was showing at the end, is really useful for them. So they do that, that, that. because what Ricardo said, everything is there, and you don't, they don't have to move through li little uh, block of uh, a quadrant. So. And what's the role of technology in all these courses? Like yeah, it's great, I mean, technology, I mean, uh, pencil is a technology, no? Yeah. Computer is a technology. You take you. It's nice to have this panorama and then to use every time what helps you more. But I think also in our work, no, it's technology, different technologies in the way you draw, the programs you use, no, and how you exchange them. So that's interesting also to see the evolution of all these digital programs uh, to obtain to avoid errors, no, between really uh, sharing the same document. That this is a help, I think, of the digital drawing. But also in the construction, there are different technologies that also you have to, you can use. And these uh, sometimes the AutoCAD drawings and cutting the forms of some uh, um, building in concrete that we built was really a help to make this uh, flexible, this kind of flexible geometry that we use. A lot of technologies of machines cutting a perfect no, silhouette that you want, tile or mate. I think it, it's very much with technology. So there are, yeah, I think. There is a lot of also technology that also depending if you know from the very beginning that you're going to use this material and this technology also you start drawing different. It's great. No? I mean, we embrace uh, technology as soon as we need them. No? As soon as you N can Not as a target, them. but suddenly, ah, this is possible. Great. So we, we use them. Mm. Yeah, to be able to take up so much space to, to draw and, to mm -hmm. mm. and also accumulate so much drawing. Yes, and also because we, we like to draw. So the, this also has decided the size of our studio. We mm. are a small studio. We are maximum 10, 12 people because we keep drawing. And also, so that means you, you cannot be involved in a lot of projects at the time. And you want to give time also because you research. So you, you, know, you want to give the time to the projects to be cooked. You know? And then... Um, yeah, we need a lot of tables, and then we try to organize the studio, but it expands in, immediately because there are the drawings, and then the drawings outside on the walls, on the tables, and then the models. And yeah, yeah we have a shortage of space, usually, <laughs> very, very quickly. Some of them, we brought them to Biennale, and we hope and they then don't we come back. <laughs> <laughs> but when they but, are back... But one of the interesting... Th I think tables as, as such, as you can see here, are very, very, very important elements for us architects, in fact, because they... Uh, no? Because yeah, they contain the drawings extended, but also they can contain uh, the books that you are interested mm -hmm. in and the models, and so in a way are containers of your thoughts. So, yes, our rooms are full of tables, and um, and very little comp the minimum computers we can and, uh, and our studio is in a, in a in a former apartment so it has big rooms no? but the maximum no, is seven our maximum room is like about almost eight per six 
But then when we finish a project, we, we store them in tubes, in cardboard tubes, and we label them by project and by the face of the project. And they are on, in a kind of a, uh, bars, wooden bars that we have on one of the rooms. So we can see and, 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 capture and pick them up if we need them for something. Mm. Uh, but um, but I, I think it's very beautiful to draw with big pieces of paper. Because today we were talking to our students that it's important when you are starting a drawing that you don't know where you will end up your drawing. So it's better to have a big piece of paper and not a small piece of paper that, that restricts your mind in a way you're thinking. So it's better to have a big one. And so if you're suddenly you go that way because you get more and more interested in something, you don't see the limit of the paper so you can enjoy going, going, going. And that's very nice. And then you never know the shape that the drawing will end up having. So for that, you need big pieces of table. We have tables of two meters by one that we built ourselves in the office. And we have quite many, and, um, and we put them together. Uh, so we have, I don't know if this was your question, but. Uh, and more or less, every, every room has one or two tables. Yeah. We accept the organization. They have wheels the so that they can move. Yes, they can be together, bigger plan. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So thank you very much. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Yes. I think we should really remember this a first of January drawing. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> because this gives uh, the idea of the intensity. First uh, of January. Yeah. Whatever year it was, but first yeah. mm. of January, big drawing and really Well, because if you have the chance of doing such a good, a nice competition, you use all your time. I mean, yeah, yeah. this is something mm. this architects, is, we don't have. This is really have. something. Well, architects, <laughs> we don't have holidays, in fact, because Working, <laughs> working, uh, working should not be a punishment. <laughs> working is, is like, like breathing. It's something like uh, needs to be continuous. The drawing. And, uh, and, uh, this drawing this is uh, it's like breathing. Drawing, drawing, yeah. is, like breathing. drawing yeah. is like breathing because it yeah. mm. needs constant, con uh, co uh, constant uh, dedication. Mm. And, and, um, and if you do it constantly, it's like a gymnastic. Yeah. So you can, so if you're in something that it moves you and you know it very well, uh, um, uh, you are there all the time. And, and when the drawing is there waiting for you in the morning, it's very beautiful because it's there and so you jump into it. Yeah. It's not that you have to open the computer, all this kind of stuff. Thank you very Thank you. much. Yes. Thank you.